enslaving Wookiees. First off, the Empire was big on slavery, and they didn't hesitate to enslave the Wookiees right from the get-go. These guys were some of the first to be enslaved because of their incredible strength. The Empire needed tough workers to build their war machine, and the Wookiees were perfect for that. So the Empire convinced the galaxy that Wookiees were just mindless animals. They used the fact that Wookiees only roared and rarely wore clothes to paint them as non-sentient beasts. So when they enslaved them, most people didn't even care. When direct force didn't work, because Wookiees are tough and fought back, the Empire got smart and started threatening their families. This cruel strategy worked, and soon nearly every Wookiee, including kids, was enslaved. They were forced to cut down their sacred trees, which not only destroyed their environment, but also their way of life. The land was used for farming, but the Empire's crops ruined the soil, leaving it useless. Many Wookiees were shipped off-world to work in spice mines and weapon factories, where they were worked to death or starved. Some were even used in horrible biological experiments. To make sure they stayed in line, the Empire implanted inhibitor chips in them, causing immense pain if they resisted or worked too slowly. These chips could even kill them at the push of a button. The Genocide of Geonosis After the Clone Wars, Palpatine declared himself Emperor, turning the Republic into the Empire, and the Death Star Project came under their control. First, Vice Admiral Dodd Rancid, then Moff Wilhuff Tarkin, supervised the construction of the Death Star over Geonosis. But when rumors about the Death Star started to spread, Tarkin moved the project to Scarif to keep it secret. Now here's where it gets dark. To ensure no one could spill the beans about the Death Star, Tarkin ordered the sterilization of Geonosis. Using toxic insecticide gas, they wiped out nearly the entire population, about 100 billion Geonosians, in what became the largest genocide the Empire ever committed. Project Blackwing During the reign of the Galactic Empire, Darth Vader got his hands on this ancient bioweapon. Thinking it could be useful, he had a team of scientists on the Star Destroyer Vector re-engineer the virus, calling it Blackwing. But of course, things went horribly wrong. An accident released the virus, turning almost everyone on the ship into savage, mindless monsters. These infected took over the ship and attacked the nearby Imperial Prison Barge Purge, spreading the infection further. This virus, created through Sith alchemy and activated by a Force-sensitive flower called the Murakami Orchid, caused excruciating pain and turned victims into undead monstrosities. The virus was self-aware, using the undead to spread itself and either transform or devour anyone who escaped infection. There was an antivirus, but it only worked if you weren't already infected, and those who were infected had almost no chance of survival. The Kratos Virus In 7 ABY, the Galactic Empire, under the orders of Director of Imperial Intelligence Izan Izard, created a bioweapon called the Kratos Virus. This virus was a real nightmare for non-human species. It was designed to be highly contagious, spreading through physical contact or water supplies, but not through the air. Once infected, the virus would destroy the victim's body cell by cell until their flesh literally fell apart, causing an agonizing death. The mastermind behind this horror was General Evir Derrico, who engineered the virus specifically to target only non-humans. Izard released it on Coruscant, just before the New Republic captured the planet, hoping to sow chaos and distrust between humans and non-humans. The idea was to bankrupt the New Republic with the cost of Bacta, the only treatment for the virus, and drive a wedge between different species. The virus did exactly that, killing millions of aliens and causing major political and social upheaval. It led to conspiracy theories and power struggles within the New Republic, nearly bankrupting them due to the high cost of Bacta. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you like this video, check out the worst things Darth Vader has ever done.